Okay, today I just want to show you something cool. The Xbox Debug Kit. Now, on the outside, it looks pretty much like a normal uh, Halo Edition Xbox. Besides it saying Debug Kit, and that pretty much really is the only difference externally. Here's the top jewel, it's black. But, what counts is on the inside. It has twice the memory. This has 128 megs. And, I believe it has a bigger hard drive. Just use a regular Xbox controller. These were used by... Let me turn this off so I could move it around. By developers to, obviously, debug their games. Now, let's see the bottom. At that bottom, flip it over. Let's see what it says. It says Xbox Debug Kit. Can't really read this because I'm looking at it upside down. There's some stuff. There's some old void sticker. And then it says opening breaches contract, Microsoft Corporation. Let's see. Okay. And then there's some other stuff. And no, I don't know what developer had this because if they had any kind of stickers on it, they're long gone. Let me plug this back in. Turn it on. It shows up the main menu. I go through the regular Xbox. That that starts up. As a regular Xbox, it then and it gets special, as in it shows the main menu, which it will in a minute once it boots up. Okay, see now it's searching for Xbox bootables. This has some game Forza Motorsport. Download some other stuff. Debug perf release. I do not know what that means. Pre-release or something. Online updater, Xbox dashboard updater, Xbox dashboard, and Tiltronica, <laughs> which you'll have to see. I'm going to make a another video, which should be up if you're watching this, about this game. This is an unreleased video game for the Xbox. There's not too much information on it. There's one other video of it, Tiltronica, and of, as of making this video, this game has not been leaked onto the internet, so you're only going to see footage of it from my next video, and there's one other video on YouTube featuring Tiltronica for the Xbox. For now, I'll just show you some of the stuff. And, um, this right here is just the Xbox dashboard. It's just pretty much what you'd think it would be. So let's see, Forza Motorsport Debug. Let's see, it boots up. Let's see. I'm not sure how to get the debug menu or anything in this game. And the other one I discovered how to do it by accident in Teltronica. Let's see. Whatever, I do this BB. See, no, no Xbox Live. Arcade. And then it's pretty much just a game. And to show you, there's nothing. Ah, oh, dang it, I rebooted it. But see, there's nothing in the disc. What, that was a game. This is just the newest of my developer stuff. See, it says. XDK all Xbox ex uh, executable. Here's a close up. Download for the. Oh, and I'll show you that menu real fast. Let's see. Oops, wrong one. Why? Okay, just a sec. Let's see. Dang it, can't remember. Oh, there you go. Network setting. Let's see. Games config debug. Test connection to partner net. Let's go back. System settings. 
Day and time, Pacific, English. Game region, you can change the region. Have it in North America, TV. Set it to, yeah, regular stuff. Audio video settings. Just all this, this goodness right here. Back. Certification tools show you this. Some of the stuff you don't want to press because it'll erase the hard drive. Don't want to do that. Don't go in there. Do not press this. Do not press A here or here. I don't know what this does. I don't really want to mess around too much. Let's go back. Here's the main menu. And make sure to check out my next video, which will be on Teltronica. There's the name. There's this IP address or whatever. Don't really care if you see it. It's not even hooked to a network or anything. So, okay. This is just my...